We first told you about the man accused of fondling himself in front of kids yesterday. Now, that suspect is behind bars. News 13's Candace Hopkins has been following this story and has the very latest. Candace. Alex, a woman snapped a picture of the alleged fondling incident in Roosevelt Park. We showed you that picture and video we shot of the suspect yesterday. Police say that video helped them make an arrest. Just a warning, some people may find the image in this story disturbing. It's a face that's all too familiar to visitors of Roosevelt Park. You know, he's, he's pretty quiet and he kind of creeps around. And he's, he's got some men, mental issues. Marcus Houston says the man has approached his son twice while touching himself. A woman says she caught him doing the same thing Wednesday afternoon. That's when she snapped this picture. Police say it's 35-year-old Jason Galloway. This guy was one of the biggest creeps out there, right, Mr. Galloway here, uh, exposing himself to children. Police responded after Wednesday's incident but couldn't find him. We brought the picture to the park to get reaction and instead found Galloway himself. Police say this video helped with their investigation. Uh, definitely Channel 13 helped a lot on this because you guys were identifying him. You put him in the park with the video. A rookie officer and his training officer found him this morning. They discovered he was already wanted for failing to show up to court in June for an indecent exposure case. Now he could be facing much more serious charges. Now the investigation continues to find other victims around the Roosevelt Park area. The detectives will want to talk to them and this will probably evolve into a felony case of child exploitation. Galloway's arrest is a relief for many here. We come to the park to have a good time and not, that kind of stuff is just, it's just really inappropriate. We're really glad that he's actually not here no more and off the streets and off the parks where a lot of kids come and have fun. I know that we have an issue having enough police in enough places all the time, but it is something that they should be worried about and it isn't trivial. Galloway is being held on a $200 bond for the warrant relating to the missed court date back in June. Back to you, Alex. All right, Candace, thanks. APD says they're also looking for any other potential victims in this case.